Phil, last week, came and fitted our new SOG system. Check out what he did. One of the few jobs that we didn't do before we went away on our summer trip was to fit the SOG system. So today we're going to fit that. Now the SOG system is um, it's basically to take all the odours out of the toilet. And Phil's here. Hello. Hey. So do you want me to quickly run through what we're doing? Run through, Phil. Go. Okay then. So the C260 toilet that's fitted in Steve's van didn't come with the electric ventilator kit fitted as standard. But luckily, Thetford do do an upgrade kit that we're going to fit. Now, the, the actual cassette has a hole in the bottom, if you just see there. And then inside here, you can see that there's another hole that lines up with that. And then under that, we're going to fit a carbon filter, which is there. And then in this kit here, there's a new control panel that goes on. And there's a little fan. Now what actually happens is, when they go to the toilet, they push the button on here that starts the fan, and then when they open the flap, air is sucked down the hole, and because air's been sucked down the hole, no smells come up and stink out the van. So it's just a nice way of being able to control the smells in the van. It does go through a carbon filter, so as it comes out of the van, it doesn't smell out the campsite. But uh, you can use less chemicals in the toilet. In fact, you can use no chemicals if you want to. And that's what we're doing today. And I get to drill, 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 drill <laughs> big holes in the bottom of Steve's van. Lovely. Looking forward to that, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. <laughs> hey. We'll film that bit, me drilling the holes. So. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, so the first Phil. thing we've got to do is get the toilet out. Right. So this is what it looks like without a toilet in a Swift Kentucky. Just a hole in the wall. Okay, so now we've got the toilet out of the van. I've got it tipped upside down here. It's easier to work on it outside the van. And what we're going to do now is we've got to cut out the part out of the bottom. It's already sort of... Um, sort of beveled in and then just use a standing knife to cut the circle out and cut out this little square and that's where the fan's going to go perfect but it does come out nice and easy just with the Stanley blade and that's out and then the other piece we need to cut out is this one here this one's easier because we can just slide the blade into that one and that's it perfect that's all the modification that needs to be done to the toilet itself as far as cutting goes, everything else now is just fitting new parts to it. You drilled a hole in my floor, Phil. There you go. <laughs> your first layer of your floor, <laughs> and then you've got another layer of floor under there. Right. You having a little nap there, Phil? I am. <laughs> or I could be putting silicone around this big hole I've drilled in the bottom of your van. <laughs> Nobody will ever notice. <laughs> we now have, that's the seal that seals it onto the piece in the floor. We have the fan fitted, as you can see there, a little tiny computer fan that sucks the air through. And we're nearly finished now with the underside modifications on the toilet. So here is the floor. Look how thick that is. It's like a composite um, floor that's been drilled out. And Phil has now fitted this vent in the floor. It's all siliconed in, sealed in there nicely. So the main installation is now done, but I just want to show you this. So what we've now got is we've got a small fan that you can see there that sits underneath the plate for the cassette. And then we have a carbon filter and carbon filters remove smell. So this is now going to go on the top of that fan. So it sits on top of there if you want to just show them that, Steve. There we go. And then there's a hole here which aligns with this hole. That plate goes on the top like that. Perfect. And then you will now see that that hole in the bottom of the cassette lines up with that new foam pad that we've got there. And when we slide that in, the job's done. And, and now Steve can show you how it works inside. And it's fair to say that all toilets that are fitted to motorhomes have this uh, the ability to upgrade to this C260s. 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 So if you bought a Heimer or you bought a Burstner or a German motorhome, it's probably already got that fitted. But unfortunately, it's not common in Britain for us to have these toilet ventilator systems fitted as standard. Yeah. So, but that kit, it took probably about two hours to do the installation on that with chatting and a cup of coffee, hasn't yeah, it, really? absolutely. And here we have a new panel with new light and a button so we can turn the fan on and turn the fan off. Um, and when we turn it on and flush it there, it does it automatically anyway. And I think it stays on for five, ten minutes afterwards. So, perfect. That should get rid of the smells from the toilet. And there you go, we have our new SOG system fitted, so we should now have less smells coming from the toilet.